Hello y'all, this is P6U, back at you with a brand new demo disc. Brand new is not quite the right word, this disc is actually disc 18, volume, uh, what is it, volume, or disc 18, this, uh, I don't know. I think it's disc 1, volume 2, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Um, long time ago since we saw this interface, long time ago since we heard his music as well, I think. It's been a while. I don't know why I skipped over disc 17 and 18. Uh, I should have done that quite a while ago, but uh, we're filling in the two last gaps here. Uh, then there's, you know, only the higher number gaps, and we're gonna get to that later. Um, but yeah, disc 18, we see we have uh, Adidas Power Football International 97. Cool Borders, Command and Conquer, Robotron X, and Trash It, or something. Uh, trash It, yeah, that's about it. So five things on the disc. Uh, not used to seeing, uh, you know, such a, you know, such a little content, I guess, compared to the higher number discs, which has, you know, the jam-packed of stuff. But regardless, just let's just start with the first thing here: Adidas Power Football International '97. Uh, I think it's called Adidas Power Soccer on the front of the disc. You know, the cover. I'm not entirely sure. Could be wrong, but I think it. I think I read, you know, Adidas Power Soccer. But yeah, it's kind of cool to see, you know, that they call it... Yeah, here we go, Adidas Power Soccer. International 97, okay. It's kind of cool that they call it football, though, on the interface, since that's what it is. You know, soccer, that's an American word for it. I mean, and this disc was released in the PAL region. And besides, Adidas is a German company, so yeah, you know, multiple reasons to call it football and not soccer here. Uh, we are playing as, uh, are we England or France? I think we are France. Um, I don't know, I could be wrong though. Uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, nice beeping sound there, you heard it, I assume. Okay, wait, it's, I only paused, okay, uh. Um, okay, I don't know how to run, I think L1 kind of, whoa, how is that not a red card right there? And not even a free kick, I mean, okay. Yeah, these older uh, football games, as you say, are really, really, you know, generous with what you're allowed to do and what not. <clears throat> it's uh, quite crazy. Okay, the time limit is counting down, so we don't have to play this for very long. Uh... That's a good thing, but I mean, it would be cool if we got a goal and not them, because uh, I have a feeling that they might score, just because, uh, I don't know what the exact controls here, and, you know, the computer obviously does, since it's its own game, uh, but you never know what might happen, I mean, yeah, now, mm. okay, I should kinda know the controls, I guess. Shoot, long pass, short pass. Okay, I don't know if that applies to the, you know, players out on the field as well. You know, maybe that's just goalie controls, so I don't know. But, as I said, I, sh I played this multiple, on multiple occasions now, on different discs. So, I should know the basics of it, but I really don't. I mean, X seems to be a pass. Uh, what the hell? Okay. Uh, that was weird. Okay, yeah, we're playing as France, definitely. We Because we're the blue ones. Kind of weird. We should be able to play as, you know, England, since... Well, this disc was originally released in England, so... Or the Great Britain, but... Do you say the Great... No, you don't say. You say the United Kingdom or Great Britain, yeah. Okay, only seven seconds left here, so... Uh, yeah, that... Well... Okay, it's still going. That's cool. Ah, there we go. Draw. Drawn. Uh, drawn, and you know, hear the beeping sound. Maybe not beeping, but you know, high frequency sound. Kind of annoying. I have to say. But that was Adidas uh, Power Football Soccer. Power slash football soccer, whatever. International 97. Because I don't know what's the difference between that and, you know, the regular Adidas Power Football or Soccer, I don't know what that. 
Right, let's move on. Cool borders. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is a rolling demo. Could be wrong. Mm, I mean, it wouldn't be the first time, you know, the magazine slash um, Web system. interface, you know, is a liar, you know. But yeah, this very much looks like non-playable. Exciting snowboard game. Okay. Uh, they. Okay, uh, they definitely opt. Okay, kind of looks very similar to. Uh, the second one, you know, in terms of gameplay here, but they definitely upped, you know, the quality of, I don't know, the voice acting, you know, in the menus and stuff. It looks, it sounds more cool, I guess, in the second one. And the announcer does kind of sound not as, you know, funny, I guess, as the one in the second one. Uh, yeah, it sounds um, pretty awkward, I have to say. Um, yeah, alright, whatever. Don't know what else to say real about this. I haven't actually played this one. I've only played the, fir the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. Uh, not this one. I've actually never even seen gameplay of this before, but as I said, it looks very similar to the second one. It's just that the second one is... Uh, bound to be better than this, I guess. Since it is the second one. I don't know. I don't even know anybody who had this game. It's just... I mean, I don't... I think... Web Systems developed the first and the second one. I don't know if... They did not develop the third one, that I know, but I don't know if... They were involved with any other than that. You know, besides the first and the second one. I have no idea. Okay, uh, cool, they showed the actual gameplay here. Uh, with a replay as well, we might as well check it out, it's... Kinda pointless, I guess. Since I said, it's a rolling demo, it's not a scripted or anything like... Or maybe, yeah, it is scripted in a way, but you know... It's not like a pre-rendered video with, you know, different cool stuff in it, like, uh... You know, I don't know, I don't know. There is a difference between rolling and a video. It's just, uh, I'm too, uh, I don't know, can't really explain it all too well. I, I mean, I know the difference, but I, it's kind of hard to explain it, really. It's just that a rolling video is always, you know, gameplay uh, determined like this, but a video, you know, you know might contain cutscenes and, you know, have more structure to it. I mean, they actually made it like a video, show different, you know, different parts of the game as well, varies between cutscenes, you know, and... Uh, Gameplay. This a rolling demo is always just gameplay, and it's usually just one single level like this. There are exceptions, of course. I mean, look at that rolling demo for Medieval on uh, was it registered user demo two, I think. Uh, the thing about that is actually pretty cool. You know, there is a mid there is a Medieval community. Uh, I don't know what their website was, but you know there is a community. You know, very dedicated to Medieval. And they actually managed to get the rolling demo on the registered users demo O2 with Medieval playable. And that's just insane right there. And it's really cool, really, really cool stuff. Uh, but this seems to have... Fro no, wait, okay. It's just a white was green. Uh, there's some music going on in the background and nothing happens when I press anything except this.
Okay, this is very really weird. Uh, we're gonna reset. That was awkward. Uh, I'll see you right back at interface. All right, I'm back. Uh, ooh, cool. Something weird happened here. I don't know what. Uh, let's move on. Command and Conquer. Which is, as you all know, fan favorite RTS game on the PC. Can't say the same about the PlayStation version. I played this before. If I'm not, yeah, yeah, I played this before. Did not go so well then. I mean, I kind of screwed up royally because they don't really explain the controls to you, and that's quite of a problem here. Yeah, Westwood Studios. Your mission: build up forces to to destroy Nod base. Once all Nod Sam sites are Neutralized, then uh, air support will be provided to, to combat obstacles such as turrets, destroy all units and structures to complete the mission objectives. Or to complete the mission objective. Press start button to battle. Select these. What's this? Yes, sir. Wait. Mobile construction yard. Okay. Yes, sir. Vehicle reporting. Okay. Uh, I am supposed to use this to build something. I just don't know what. Or how. Can I... I mean, there's like nothing here. Uh-huh. Okay, I, I, I don't know what to do here. I have no idea. I mean, I mean, you're supposed to build up a base and stuff, but... I mean, this is the mobile construction yard. I select that. And how do I build stuff? I mean, if I press circle, I deselect it. If I press triangle, I go into this menu, which looks like you're, you know, supposed to access buildings here. You even have $4,000, but I can only go through, like, these five slots, and there's nothing there. No matter what button I press, a circle goes back. No, triangle goes back. Okay, circle does nothing. X does nothing. Square does nothing. And triangle goes back. I mean, okay. Yeah, that's uh, <coughs> helpful. Now I'm being attacked by these assholes. I mean, okay. Yeah, that was uh, great. Okay, this looks uh, good, I guess. Uh, can I... Uh, did I deselect it? No. Wait, can I only go to... What? Moving out. Okay, I don't Moving know. Out. Moving out. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, no, did I? Yes, sir. Okay. Affirmative. Moving okay, I don't know what that did. Nothing. Affirmative. Affirmative. Moving out. Maybe I shouldn't, you know, explore with this one right here. Moving out. I don't know. I really don't understand exactly what I, I mean. I kind of understand. It's just that they don't explain at all how you're supposed to play this. For start, nothing happens. Yeah, that's that's beautiful right there. And now there's enemies here killing my soldiers and shit. Okay. Quit being a coward, man. Get back here and die. Oh, this is great. Alright. Uh huh. Enemy structure. Okay, I don't know what that is. It's apparently a structure. Alright. 
All right, uh, that uh, will uh, turn out great right there. I still have this, but I don't know. How do you f build stuff? I really don't understand this. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see here. Oh, still no difference. Okay, um... I mean, I guess this means repair or build or something, but... And this dollar sign, I have no idea what it means at all. And there's still nothing here either way, so... Uh... <clears throat> Can I go here now? Enemy structure, but why does it... Why... Uh... Okay, uh... Oh, great, great. Wait, what's this right here? Civilian? Well, defend my mobile construction yard. Oh, crap. Oh, oh shit. Oh, great. Um, <clears throat> well, this is a little embarrassing. Okay, yeah, this is not gonna go, yeah, this, well, at least it's faster than those guys, or kind of. Amazing, just outstanding. Wait, I can run over to, no, what, where, wait, what the hell is this, why, why are they like dying when they go in here? I don't know. Okay, well, that was interesting. What the hell is this then? I have no idea. Uh, they died, that's all I care about, but where the hell am I, or I, what the hell am I supposed to do now? I have no soldiers left. And they do not tell you how to build uh, anything. Yeah, this is just amazing. Amazing, yeah. Great demo, great demo. Please, uh, give me more of these demos where you don't know what the hell you're supposed to do. I mean, I press every single button. I don't know if I'm supposed to press select or something. That's the only button I haven't tried yet. And if I do press select, I might go back to, you know, the interface. I might as well. Wait, yeah, there we go. Perfect. I press select and that's what happens. Oh, Alright, yeah, just... No. Okay, if you're not gonna ex have the courtesy to explain how to play the demo, then fuck you, I don't care. I mean, really now. Uh, I got really hyped to play the full game with that. Yeah, really fun demo. I mean, it's maybe it isn't too bad once you know, you know what to do, but... Since it's just throw everything in your face and expect you to understand, I mean, what the hell is that kind of bullcrap? It's not like it's a basic self-explanatory platformer either, it's just, you know, an advanced RTS, advanced for its age, you know, and for PlayStation 1, I guess, but... Really now. Robotron X. Here we go. Let's see what the hell is this. My, hopefully it's something cool. That would be uh, preferable, I guess. I'd really play some, rather play something cool than something uncool, right? I think you all can agree on that. It's loading, that's uh, cool, I guess. Developed by Player One, Williams Entertainment, okay. Player One, what the hell kind of developer name is that? Okay. Um. Wow. Nineteen ninety six. All rights reserved. Robotron X. Okay. 
Whoa. Play demo? Okay. Why do they have like a Mario, f you know, try to mimic the Mario thing, you know, from Super Mario 64? I don't know. If Yeah, this was released after. Definitely. Player 1-Up one, one Classic. Uh, I don't know. Oh no, you know what? Uh, you shoot with all the different action buttons and they determine the direction you shoot in. So to shoot down you press X, to shoot you know, to the left you press square, and to shoot up you press triangle, to shoot right you press circle. Well, that's kinda annoying I guess, maybe it works, you can't shoot di diagonally it seems like. Uh, but I beat the first level it seems like also. Beware the insidious brains. Wait, level 5? I'm supposed to shoot these cubes or... Well, a really crappy frame rate though, I have to say. I don't know if it's just because of the, you know, TV or anything. And I don't know if it shows up in the recording, but... Damn, this looks atrocious, I have to say. I mean, I can't really see what's going on. I'm just shooting everything inside here. I guess that's what you're supposed to do here, but... I mean, okay. Oh, uh, so I died, yeah. Uh, what? Did he... What the hell was he doing? Was he jerking me off or something? That looked very awkward right there. Okay, so I beat that level as well. Or, n what? Did I die? From what? I have no idea. Okay, now I beat it. I hope. Level 7. Yeah, very random here. Uh, quarks and tanks. Or was it, Did it say tank? I think it did. It seems like those cubes are spawning the tanks or something. I don't know. I could be wrong here. But that's what it looks like. Whoa. Okay, this is... Uh, 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 yeah, I mean, uh, okay. I mean, look how crappy it is. Yeah, great. Great. Hopefully that was... No, still, I, I don't want to keep playing this because, honestly, uh, this sucks. I mean, come on. Um, this does not belong... Or maybe it does, I don't know. It just doesn't feel like this is supposed to be a PlayStation 1 game. It feels like this is an, you know, advanced Atari game or something. Because you, you just run on a grid and you shoot. I mean, you only need one button to shoot, but instead they give you four. Game over, yeah. Who would have thought? That's uh, got to be one of the weirdest game over screens as well. Because his head was going through his leg. For some reason, I don't know why. And now we got a black goes green, and I don't know if we do need to reset this one. Let's start select. Ah, uh, nothing seems to happen. Okay, we'll reset, and I'll see you back to interface yet again. Alright, I'm back, and we only have one thing left on the disc, to be honest. Let's trash it. So let's uh, trash it. Once you've finished playing this demo, you must reset your PlayStation. Yeah, and why did not, you know, uh, Cool Warriors say that? And Robotron X? Maybe it's just because it's on the PS3 as usual, but... I mean, they should at least have the courtesy to tell you, you know, you have to reset. What the hell is that? Okay, a flying alarm clock. It's spinning. That's, uh... Probably the loading sign. I don't know. 
Rage. <clears throat> okay. Rage Arcade Wear. Alright. Never... I heard of Rage before, but never Rage Arcade Wear. <clears throat> Rage Software Presents. Yeah. Okay, why is it, like, flickering on the screen? Well, it doesn't look like it shows up in recording, so I don't know. Maybe it did or maybe it did not. Okay, trash it. Um, fancy. So that was kind of unnecessary to have, you know, that start and options. Okay, let's just go with start then. Arcade or battle or... Uh, I don't know. Arcade? Okay, no. Guest. Okay, guest works. Maybe bat. What the hell is... Okay. Maybe a uh, battle would have worked as well. I don't know. Really? What the... Are you kidding me? This is... Don't tell me this is the entire game. And what the hell happened now? Two, yeah, 200. What? The... Okay. Can you jump? Triangle jumps, uh, apparently. But you need to, you need to break out the hammer and then you can't jump when you have the hammer, but when you don't have the hammer you can't attack. Oh, that's just great right there. Okay, what? A vacuum? What? Oh, alright. Um. Um. I Oh, here we go. Okay, um so I guess I'm supposed to can't run when you have a hammer either. Okay, now we Wait, I All right. What the fuck happened there? Seems I got squashed or something. I don't know how I broke out the vacuum cleaner. I have no idea. Okay, this... Whoa. Okay, that didn't reach. Let's see if... No. How am I supposed to... Oh, how the... F okay. Um, makes a lot of sense, right? And now my... What? Now my hammer's gone? Wait, dude. What the... F okay, how do I... There we go. I... Really don't understand what the hell is going on here, but... Okay, that X attack seems to be pretty pointless because it doesn't really hit anything. Wait, there we go. But that was a circle attack. Let's see if this works then. No. You have to be very... No. That's all... Okay. Ah, uh, beats me. Okay. Uh... I don't know what it is, but something about this game really makes me depressed. Uh, uh what? Okay. <sighs> okay. Uh, I don't know, it just makes me sad that games like this exist. I mean, okay, I don't know what it is. It just makes me utterly depressed when I see stuff like this. 
Especially as late on the PlayStation. I mean, there's stuff like this on PS2 as well, you know, shovelware. But, uh, I don't know. It's just sad that they sold that for, you know, retail pricing. Could never do that these days. Never, ever. Uh, but let's not hate on it anymore. It's releasing 96 or something like that, so fuck it. Uh, but, yeah, this was Euro Demo 18. Disc 1, Volume 2. Released back in early 97 or really late 96. No way, it must have been released in 96 somewhere. I don't know when exactly, but 96 was probably... Wait, was it? I don't know. I have no idea. I, don't rem I wasn't around. <laughs> ah, fuck it. I, I was around back then, but I was like 6 or 7. So. 5 or 6, 7, something like that. But whatever, this was your demo 18. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for uh, disc 17. Stay tuned for all things PlayStation. But for now, P6U, going offline.